Hi, my name is Maria and today I'm going to show you how to divide big numbers. So let's take a big number in the thousands like 3,750 and we'll divide that by 150. So we're going to set it up with our long division setup which means that the 150 will go outside of the house and that the 3750 will go inside. So like any other long division you take the number on the outside and you ask yourself can it go into the first digit? Can 150 go into 3? It can't so we move on to the next number. Can 150 go into 37? No. Can 150 go into 375? It can, but now you have to decide how many times. So if you can't think of it right away, you've got to do some math on the side and estimate. So if you estimate the number 150, let's say down to 100 or up to 200, to get 100 to go into, estimate this to 400, we'd go in four times, right? Um, but we're working with a number that's higher, so we want to estimate down a little bit lower. So maybe you think that it's three. So on the side, you would try 150 times 3. And when you do that, you get 450. So you realize that you've gone too far, you've gone over. So the next number down will probably work. So we try 2. And when we do 2 times 150, we get 300. So it's a little bit of trial and error on the side with deciding how many times this big number will go into 375. But once we find the right number, we follow the same steps as long division. 375 minus 300 will give us 75. And now we bring down the next zero. So now again, we have 150 into 750. If you can't do it right away in your head, it's a little bit of guess and check, right? So we're going to guess. If we estimate this down to 100 and this down to 700, we'd be looking at 7. But we're going to go a little bit lower since that number's higher. We'll try 6. So 6 times 0 is 0. That's 30. And this is 900. So we've already gone too far up. So we're going to try a lot lower. So we're going to try 150 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 5 is 20, we get 600. So that means that we actually should fall right between the two numbers that we tried, which is a 5. And when we do 5 times 150, you will indeed get 750. And 750 minus 750 is 0, so there's no remainder. 150 goes into 3,750 25 times.